In this documentation, we can see we have various life cycle hooks. And here I can see where is that? Yeah. So component did mount and component will unmount. Let's understand the life cycle. So as the life cycle term means, not this cycle, <laughs> but the life cycle means, but the life cycle means when any component is created and when it is destroyed. So first thing is when this component is actually created, this constructor going to run. So I'm going to log on this constructor and I will say uh, app constructor. Let's try this and see what we are getting on the log. So we are going to refresh this page and then we can see we are having an app constructor. But what if I do the log inside this render method? So then we can see app render. Okay. And remember, this is a class based component. So first we are having this uh, constructor and then we have this render. So if I refresh once more, let's see. Yeah, so first is constructor, then we have a render. What if I try to give this inside this uh, function which is not available? So how we can do something when this component is actually created? So what I mean by created? Created means we have all set with the states. So first we are initializing the state. That's why we have a constructor. Then using these values, we are setting the JSX and creating all the elements. Then we can see or we can say that the app component is actually created or mounted. So in that case, we have a event or lifecycle hook called uh, component did mount so when this component mount so I will say app mount or mounted actually let's try this and you can see first we have constructor where we are setting all the states first this one initializes then render that means using all the states we are creating all my JSX and elements and after that when everything is ready then we can say that component is mounted or component did mount this is the life cycle hook of mounted so how we, what we can do on this suppose you want to set the state of title into something else like hello life cycle hook so i can say this dot set state and i can say title is actually hello life cycle let's try this so you can see it is now having hello life cycle and this is very useful because first we have the hello react to but after some time we are when we are ready with the component then we are saying that this component did mount we're going to run and updating the state so this is the first lifecycle hook for a class based component we will also going to see the functional component but let's understand the lifecycle with the class based component and then we will move to the functional component